Hi, I'm Ryan with Hatchy Time, and I'm going to show you how to build a one layer partridge cage today. All right, first we're going to start by building one section at a time. So as you can see here, you have your front wall, your front door, your top roof, your back wall, and then your bottom egg roller. And if you zoom in to the front wall, you'll see that they have these arrows. And all arrows are going to line up on this unit. So you can see the arrows. So this is how you know you'll be assembling it correctly. So to start, we're going to take the door and you can see that there's a little lip right here for the lock. The door is going to be placed like so. And then these are going to interlock every other. Bend the door back slightly. And there you go. Next, we're going to attach the top, pick it up, and you're going to connect the butterfly locks at slightly less than a 90 degree angle. Now you're going to come to the back. Again, you can see how the arrows line up. It's almost done. Now you're adding the bottom egg roller to the unit. I like to flip it over. And again, at that slightly less than 90 degree angle. And you have one section built and these, this front door is gonna go into the holes here when you assemble it. Now build two more sections identical to this. So now that you have three sections built identical, we're going to assemble the layer. So as you can see here, we have four dividing walls. And it's best to assemble on the ground. Now for this step, we recommend a mallet. Just make sure everything is tight, secure, and snug. Again, go around the perimeter, making sure all the pegs are in the holes. Take your mallet, flip that one over, attach the other side. Take the next section, place it on top, your next dividing wall. Again, come in with your mallet. Take your last section, again, give a little downward pressure, come in with your mallet again for the final tap. Now you have one layer built. Now we're going to install the watering system. So you'll take your PVC pipe, slide it into the right of the cage. You have two options you can put on the higher or the lower. Now we're going to install the drinker cups inside each section. So now you can install them facing either way. We prefer to have the clips on the back so you do not see them. They simply snap in. Install the longer hose on the bottom, and then this hose will be cut to the proper height. All right, next we're going to install the side struts and the aluminum rods. So you have your four side struts, four aluminum rods, eight mollies, eight screws, and then your vice grips or rubber vice grips, and your power drill. So you're going to start by having one side strut, place the molly through the top hole. You're going to be using both holes. In the front, you'll be using the lower one. In the back, you'll be using the higher one. The 
next one. You're going to want to put it in the closer hole. Now, some people prefer to use a vice grip. We suggest a rubber vice grip, or if you have a jar opener, you can put it on the inside of your metal vice grips. This will help prevent the aluminum rod from spinning. Now that we have both side truts built, we're going to bring the cage to the ground and assemble the side struts. So now you're going to see the one that's closer is going to go along the back and you're simply going to slide it through the holes of the cage. Again, do the front one, and you want to make sure that the legs are facing down towards the feeding trough. Now, it will flip over the unit, and you want to make sure that the aluminum rods are all sticking out slightly over the edge. That'll mean you made the cage tight enough. And we're going to repeat the same process on this side with the side struts and the mollies. Again, placing the side strut on top of the aluminum rod and placing the molly through the side strut. Now you have one layer. Now we're going to install the feeding trough. So you can see you have your green strip here and there's arrows on the strip. You want to make sure that it's facing the feed trough and you will simply slide it in along the groove. Should be very snug. Next, you have your red feed grill covers and your green connectors. And now these are going to interlock with one another. As you can see, there's four holes. And just like so, you'll connect the feed grill covers. Now we're going to attach the wheels onto the bottom. So as you can see, you have two wheels with locks that'll be going on the front and two wheels without locks on the back. Now this is user preference. You may place the locks wherever you'd like, but simply screw them in. And then you can take a wrench to make them even tighter. So now once you have all the wheels on, you're going to bring it over to the floor. Now you're going to add the layer to the bottom frame and wheels. And then you're going to add your end connector. Next, we're going to put the feeding trough on. Now we put the top frame on. Next, we're going to add the water tank. So you'll take your three inch hose that you cut, your water filter, the other end of the water filter, and you're going to attach it to the water tank. And then from here, you're going to attach the hoses going down, making sure they're nice and snug. Water tank will sit here. 
And now you add your manure tray. And there you have it, a one layer partridge cage.